Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the solenoid and arm assembly on your refrigerator, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of needle nose pliers, a small ball peen hammer, and a one eighth punch. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the refrigerator. So locate the cord and unplug it. And next we're going to open the freezer door. We'll lift up on the ice bin and auger assembly, remove that, we'll set that aside. Well, next we'll need to remove two Phillips screws at the front of this shelf, two more in the upper rear corners, as well as two at the very top of the evaporator cover. So we'll start with those ones first and then very carefully tilt the top of that evaporator cover forward and then lift it out of the two tabs across the back and then rotate it out and away. Now that will give us access to the wire harness connector. We'll need to remove that as well. Now that gives us access to the wire harness connector for the auger assembly. So we need to remove the two Phillips screws that secure that. Now with the two screws removed, we can now unplug that wire harness connector. And then we'll remove the last two retaining screws on that auger motor assembly. And then lastly, the two screws at the front of the shelf. Now these screws are a little bit shorter than the rest of those, so make sure that we don't mix those up. You may also want to remove the light bulb below that assembly so that we don't damage that when we remove it. And then carefully lift that assembly up. Pull it out from underneath the ice maker. And then we'll set that on a suitable work surface where we can replace the solenoid assembly. Now next we're going to remove the two wires to that solenoid assembly. So you just grasp those with the needle nose pliers and pull them off. And then we're going to remove two quarter inch hex head screws from the front. And then we can just pivot that whole assembly right out in one piece. We'll remove the plunger assembly from the old one. Now with the old plunger assembly removed, you'll note that the metal part of that plunger is attached to a plastic extension. We're going to reuse that plastic extension. It's held in place with a roll pin through that metal plunger. So we're going to have to remove that roll pin. We'll use our punch and our hammer to knock that out. We'll set that on a flat surface and support it. And once you've got that most of the way through, you should be able to pull it out with the pliers. And then just remove the punch. Remove the old plunger and discard it. Line the new one up. There's a spring tension on that, so we'll have to push that through far enough to line it up. And then just carefully tap that pin all the way until it's flush. Now there's also a foam cushion on that original solenoid. We can just peel that off. It has a self-adhesive to it. And if the adhesive is damaged, just take some double-faced tape We'll apply a little glue to that and we'll attach it to the new solenoid. We'll set the plunger in place. Now before we install that, we'll want to make sure that the threads for the screws are cut into the new solenoid. So just take that and run those screws in and out of that. 
It'll make it easier to install it once we get it in place. So, take the plastic portion of that plunger, put the two pins on either end, line that up through the slots on that guide, and rotate it into position, line up the screw holes, and then tighten those two screws. And reconnect the two wires. Make sure they fit nice and snug on that. And then we're ready to put the assembly back in the refrigerator. Now to reinstall, we're simply gonna slide that whole assembly back into place and then we'll hang it on the two brackets at the back. And that will support that until we can put a couple of screws in place. Remember to reconnect the wire harness. Make sure it's fully inserted and install the two retaining screws to the connector. And the two short screws at the front of that shelf. And then we'll carefully fit that evaporator cover in behind the ice maker. Keeping the top portion of it in front of those two mounting clips. Tilt it forward enough so that we can slide it onto the tabs at the bottom. And install the two retaining screws. Now ready to put the ice bin and auger assembly back in. all the way back and is latched across the front. We'll reinstall the light bulb if you removed it. We'll reconnect the power and our repair is complete.